What's up, everybody? I'm Wildman West. And I'm Effie. And it's here as Domino. Say hi, old fella. And welcome to day 13 of What's Your Poison's 24 Beers of Christmas. Today starts the second half and something a little bit different, but something that we have done last year, where we do a beer review and then we talk about a holiday classic or something newer. So, that being said, it's time for me to pop open the box. The box! Hold oh, up yes. because, yeah, now we're getting on to the third row. Third man in. Oh man. Oh man, holy jumping. Pollyanna! Ooh! Last year we got a Pilsner. Yeah, we did. This year is called Mittenless. It is a vanilla brown porter. 5.0 ABV. Let me see if there's any. Let's see. Brown porter with vanilla added. There isn't really much of a description, so... That's uh, fine! Yeah. At least it's more Christmassy than their last year's beer. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But you know what? They they do have some great stuff last they year. Do. They I do. I mean, last year was kind of basic. We became basic bitches on that episode. They so. haven't. But, oh, with that being said, let's just open this up and give me your glass. And we are going to... Oh, it has that nut brown color. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. You Come on, Domino. You wait your turn. Come on, Domino. Relax. It's okay. Yeah, no. Look at that head. That's oh, yeah. not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. I got a little bit heavier. Okay. okay. That's all right. That's... Appearance wise? Yep. I can Scent wise? I'm getting that kind of vanilla bean. A little bit. A little bit. Not too much. It's subtle. Let me see. It's a brown ale or just vanilla brown? It's, it's a brown ale with vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla brown ale. porter. A oh, porter. Mittenless. Why is it mittenless? Is it because it's so cold? Or maybe it's gonna warm me up that you don't need mittens. I hope so. Jingle jingle. Jingle jingle. Oh! That is tasty. Oh, that is good! Right? A lot of vanilla on that. Yeah. Vanilla multi sweet beverage. And normally porters don't have, I mean, some of them can get kind of coffee flavored. Style. Sure, sure. This one with the vanilla bean, mm, yeah, yeah, that's um, very reminiscent of one of the last ones that we had. Yeah, I want to say that the last one that we had that was the more coffee one was the um, came upon a midnight meat. Oh uh, well, yeah, there were some coffee notes in that, and obviously the dark matter mm -hmm. coffee and the more beer that was in last week or last week, mm -hmm. last, yesterday, ah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah right. This is delicious! Yeah, we're trying to figure out all the days. There's so oh, many beers. Oh, man! Mm. Okay, this is really, really tasty. I very much enjoy this. This one, I mean, I want to say nice, but this is, it's it's nice. It's, it's just nice! It's, it's just, it's... Yeah! You know, it's it's mellow. It just makes you feel, it brings that warmth in your heart. It, it does bring a little I don't need the heart. damn mittens when I'm drinking this. No mittens. No, no mittens. Mittenless. No, I agree. This is very easily drinking... Christmas beer, uh, like especially for the season. I definitely think that it's got a lot going for it. What do you think there, Domino? He says it's nice too. He says it's nice too. Yep. Oh, it's so good. Well, now that we've already graded this beer, it's now time to talk about a movie. And I'm up first this yeah. year. Yeah. All right, so the movie I've picked today is the 1961 Disney version of Babes in Toyland. This one is adapted from a 1903 operetta from Victor Herbert, and pretty much it's about, it's, a, it's an ensemble cast, where Mother Goose is telling everybody about Tom Piper and Mary Contrary getting married, and yet the town is dealing with a lot of financial issues. And there's a man that's kind of a, Curmudgeon, a very um, greedy person. Mr. Barnaby, he's got all the money in the town. And he's he wants to marry Mary, quite contrary. Mm -hmm. And Tom is the thorn in his side. So he has to figure out a way to get Tom out of the picture. So he gets Gonzago, I believe that is his name, and Rodrigo, two little henchmen, to help him dispose of Tom. Well, they do that for the most part, and then Mary's wondering what's going on. They say that he sank into the sea on a, on a really stormy night on a, on a boat. And so she feels, well, maybe I'm going to have to marry Bartleby because, well, 
He's got the money to help us out. And they also have another plan. If that doesn't work out, steal Bo Peep's sheep, and then go looking for them in the forest of no return. Mm. Well, it turns out, throughout all this, Tom is alive. He joins a band of gypsies, dresses up as the head gypsy woman, and foils Barbie's plan. Oh. However, when the sheep are missing, the children of the town go looking for the sheep and go to the Force of No Return. Mary and Tom help them out, and they go to Toyland, where the Mr. Toymaker, the man who is making all the toys for Christmas, and his assistant Grumio, who is uh, a little bit of a, eh, he's, he's a bit of a dunce. He's got, I mean, he's a genius, but he makes a lot of mistakes. And the toy maker wants to help him, but at the same time scolds him a lot. When the kids and Mary and Tom go to help the toy maker get everything done for Christmas, everything's going to be good except Barnaby and his henchmen foil their plans by finding a shrink ray that Grumio developed and started shrinking Tom, shrinking the toy maker, and basically Barnaby says, Mary, if you are not going to marry me, I'm going to shrink Tom to the point where he's non-existent. Well, that doesn't really settle well with anybody else. And they get the toys to come to life and foil Barnaby's plans, shrink him down to size. Tom and Barnaby have a sword fight, Barnaby loses, and then Tom gets grown back to normal size with a growing ray, and Mary is Mary, and they all live happily ever after. Wow! I just wanted to give a nutshell of the movie because it is a classic. It's one that I haven't seen in a long time, and I actually I found a copy, a bootlegged copy, from ABC's, you know, Holiday Classics on VHS from when I was a kid, and I had to relive it, and I really wow. wanted to review it this year. Wow. Okay, that's not what I expected at all, because I have seen The Babes in Toyland that came out in the 80s, starring Drew Barrymore and Keanu Reeves, and if you haven't seen that movie, it's very different. I'm actually surprised at how different it was. I wanted to hear everything about the story about the original 60s version. Uh, the one that came out in the 80s was very, very different. I highly recommend that we break that one down next year because of how different it is. Fair enough. Absolutely. So, Babes in Toyland in the 80s with Drew Barrymore and Keanu Reeves. Look out for next year. Oh yeah. That was not what I expected. That sounded very intriguing. I'll have to check Thank that you. out. So now, much like with we've done movie reviews, I'm going to talk about what I like and what I don't like about the film. What I don't like about the film? Not much. I actually, this is one that I've, hell, I, really? would, I would actually watch this even on when it's not even Christmas, just because it's just, it's a musical. It's just so okay. fun. Okay. There's a lot of great song and dance numbers. And plus, I mean, you have a lot of great talent at that time. I mean, you had Annette Funicello, part of the Mickey Mouse Club, the OG Mickey Mouse Club, playing Mary Contrary. You had Tommy Sands playing Tom Piper. You had Ed Wynn playing the Toy Maker. I mean, Ed Wynn was in a lot of different movies, did a lot of voiceovers for a lot of cartoons. I mean, Ed Wynn was, um, there have been a lot of other voice actors in Hanna-Barbera that were inspired by him, that did other different voices. You have uh, Roy Bulger that played Barnaby, who's pretty much one of, like, the notorious typecasted villains. And the list goes on and on with a lot of these. I, I mean, I'd have to pull out my phone and literally go through the contracted Disney kids from the 60s. I mean, the list goes on and on, but I mean, the cast was great. Um, the energy that they throw out. I mean, the character of Mother Goose has a goose that's tucked under her arm. It's very, I mean, obviously it's puppeteered by her, but a yeah, voice yeah, off yeah, camera. Yeah. And at one point at, in the movie, they're trying to say that Tom sank into the sea. They said, no, Tom sank, Tom sank. And the goose goes, who's Tom sank? I mean, it's just, it's, <laughs> well, in the earlier versions of the operetta of uh, Babes in Toyland, Laurel and Hardy were a part of it. So it's got that like, vaudevillian style shtick. And sure. that who is Tom Sank is very, yeah. it's kind of a, a nod to that situation. So I find that very humorous and just, I mean, with being live action Disney, I mean, a, they were, I mean, in the 60s they were very prevalent in live action. I mean, because you had things like, um, oh God, I mean, the list goes on and on with a lot of them. I mean, Condor Man, I mean, Swiss Family Robinson, they did a lot of different live action stuff. 
mean, Kurt Russell. I mean, sure. he was in a lot of that stuff. I mean, yeah. come on, what? Tron? Yeah. I mean, and that was later on. But still, I love this movie. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to give this one solid A. It's very great. Wow. Yeah, I will have to check that one out. Definitely compare and contrast from what I know. For so sure. Me, man. Well, we hope you enjoy this beer review and movie review. Leave a thumbs up and leave a thumbs down if you don't agree about the beer review or the movie review. It's okay. Also, make sure you share on social media, but most importantly, push that little red button and ring that holly jolly bell for instant notifications. Until then, I'm Wildman Wes. I'm Hefe. And, and this is Domino. Oh, yeah. Say bye, old fella. We hope you stick around for tomorrow where Hefe has a review for us with a beer on What's Your Poison's 24 Beers of Christmas, Day 14. Cheers, buddy. Cheers! <laughs>